Hi, this is Lois from No Cruise Control. Here is my cabin tour aboard Iona, um, P&O Cruises' newest ship. This is cabin 12255, a standard balcony cabin with an amazingly huge balcony. I booked this cabin and I paid for it myself. Uh, no upgrade, no nothing. All paid for by me. Enjoy the tour. I'm doing another cabin tour of my um cabin because <laughs> i broke my phone and i don't know whether the video uploaded to icloud so i'm gonna do another one um so excuse the mess because the first time i hadn't unpacked so it was nice and clean well not clean tidy tidy it's always been clean um usual safety information my muster station is um headliner theater life jacket information usual place to put your card Keep the electricity on, light switch for the main. I'm not entirely sure what this is. But hey, no one. Do not disturb signs. I do like these. So taking it easy, do not disturb. And it's a magnet. So on the other side, gone exploring. Please make up my room. Really like that. So we'll come back to the bathroom. We'll do the room first. So hooks there, handy. Um Iona's made for more sort of colder climates, cruises, so handy to put your coat on. Um, Aircon unit. This ship is really hot, so I've got it right down. But if you feel the cold, you can have it right up. <laughs> now there's a light there switch for the bathroom. It's clever. It either has a really dull light or a really bright light. Um, if you're going in the night, you might not want the bright light good idea and there's also a little light down here let me turn the main light off and you can see it so it lights up the floor there and you can control that light from your bed side um, switches and then so you can turn that on so you can see your way and it actually does light up quite well in the dark and you can see where you're going to your bathroom without falling over and without putting all the lights on to wake up your companion, potentially. So this is my cabin. I um, initially thought I was solo cruising because my husband doesn't get as much leave as me, so he's not on this cruise with me. I'm here on my own. Um, I'm very happy being on my own. Uh, very m much happier with him, obviously. Um, or my parents, but they're not cruising at the moment. Um, and with a friend, I just thought a lot of responsibility to take someone for seven days at sea if they've never been on a cruise before because um, if they hated it and then I'd feel awful um, but there's nothing to hate but you know just yeah I like my own space I'm an only child I am um, I'm happy on my own I'm comfortable eating on my own comfortable like going to cinema or whatever on my own so yeah happy but anyway I was gonna get an inside cabin but then I thought sod it I only live once I want a balcony cabin um, can afford one, just need to do some more extra on call and overtime. But do you know life's too short to huddle myself away in an inside cabin? And the last time I had an inside cabin, I ended up with uh, pneumonia and was ill for a good few months. And that's when I started this blog. <laughs> so everything happens for a reason, but no insides for me. Work hard, play hard. Um, so here's my balcony. And I lucked out with the actual balcony, but I'll show you that after. Let's do the cabin first. So, a light there on the wall with a switch underneath it. It's a bit weird, I suppose, because you have to lean over the sofa to get to it. But there we are. Beautiful artwork. I love the colours on that. Um, nice sofa. Uh, quite a long sofa. I assume this doubles up as a double bed. It does say there, do not attempt operate by yourself. Let me see there um yeah it's a big sofa so big bed nice little table i've got my book of notes on there um kindle um yeah general sort of dumping place for stuff but it's a really good table the luggage mats in there um yeah and places to put drinks i suppose all seems very nice nice um cushions sofa's quite hard um, but I guess that's because it's a bed as well. Um, I like a soft sofa, but you know, I haven't sat on it much. I haven't been in here much. Um, so this wardrobe door 
does open fully despite the sofa it's just enough room so down there you've got hangers to put your clothes on a safe usual kind of safe managed to get my laptop in which was impressed about um it's just a normal macbook uh so yeah quite big safe and a hairdryer up there so this next wardrobe door doesn't open the um sofa's in the way anyway oh my rubbish in there you don't want to see <laughs> lots of clothes but loads of shelves there for clothes um again excuse my rubbish so um wardrobe full length wardrobe and life jackets luckily haven't needed them uh waste paper bin nice carpet i like the design a bit art decory um chair desk all my kind of vlogging vlogging paraphernalia uh a nice um present from piano more brick pop cider um this is uh some glasses to put the cider in i don't know if you can see maybe not so much on this video but i'll put a still alongside and basically you can see that um it's got iona's maiden date on the glasses that's a nice little present wasn't really expecting anything from P&O <laughs> after all it's P&O um Brit pop cider had a uh, bottle of that a few weeks ago it was very nice so it's nice to have some more um so switches here to control lights um two British plugs and one European one I think there shelving to put stuff on as i have um there's water cans of water there that you can buy if you so desire there's a a um light leaflet saying don't throw anything in the ocean should be common sense um a booklet welcome on board and all the information about the dining venues entertainment venues etc uh room service menu I'll put a picture up uh, rise and dine, so your breakfast, um, ordering stuff, yeah. So then we come down to the kettle. Have not used it. I'm not a big um, hot drink drinker, really. And this is made for me, I'm lazy. <laughs> um, but yeah, kettle. And then all your um, stuff for hot drinks here. So milk, coffee, tea bag, sugar, biscuits. So nice to actually every day here we get a different type of shortbread, which I think is, you know, Iona and all that. You can see my masks, that's where they live. So there's a mini fridge, excuse my shoes, a mini bar here. Oh, my loyalty champagne's in there. <laughs> and um, one of the complimentary cans of water. And then here is just shelving units. You can put stuff in. So almost to the TV, it's quite a large TV, I haven't watched it, you can get your account on there which is quite handy, uh, more storage, see my Peninsula Club um, slippers, I've got, I could run a shop of them, I've got hundreds, uh, phone, I think I've only used it once, I rang reception and asked them to kindly refund my internet because it wasn't working so there's no point having it. Um, and they did very kindly. Yeah, biggish TV. You can see your account on there, which is handy. Um, so, bed, very comfortable. Two singles. I always seem to. Um, it's weird, like sleeping in a bed without my husband. I like am used to having one side, obviously, but on my own, I'm just like sprawled across the whole bed. <laughs> um, it's a very comfortable bed. So, lights here. Yeah a bedside light and a um like a reading light you can control the main lights from here as well she says there we are oh so this light this you won't see it now because it's light but this switch is the switch oh sorry this switch is the switch to turn on the light by the bathroom <coughs> excuse me um so that you can see where you're walking very clever um and then this other switch was the main lights 
so press the wrong one you can wake up the whole cabin <laughs> and a, a plug um, which is handy and then I don't know if you can see underneath there yeah a USB charger very handy and then the bedside cabinet thing has quite a few um, shelves there pillows really comfortable so onwards to the balcony oh the other side of the bed if you see my shoes at the side ignore <laughs> yes exactly the same lights same light switches uh no plug but you do have a usb charging point this is my usual side of the bed so i have no plug but it's fine we're back on in november so it should be nice so this is my balcony um you can see the threshold there the cabin the, the door took me a while to get used to so basically yeah you keep it down i don't know if you can see that it's not really focusing is it it's a bit dark i think oh there we are so you keep it down to slide it or you turn it up to not and i hadn't read it and was turning it up and was trying to go the door won't move um but yeah it's really good it's um easy door and then you can lock it as well which is handy for added security but yeah the kind of balcony is beautiful so it's huge the balcony is more or less the same size as the cabin on the deck plan um so this side here is the inside of the cabin next door and then there is the balcony of the other cabin on the other side so basically i'm on the indented end of the indented bit you can see that so those ca those cabins there have the same size balcony as me and then i can it's a bit rough today and a bit wet but you can see to the bridge there. and then these people's cabin uh, balconies start here to there and then I've got all of that. So basically I've got the length of their cabin as well. Which is amazing. And it's a standard balcony. There's nothing special about this. It's not a suite. It's not a deluxe balcony. It's just a bog standard balcony. So look at the uh, deck plans and make sure you have them here. Um, but nice. Nice chairs. Usual piano chairs. Table. And then I've got a chair there as well. Because I can <laughs> we're sailing um, past islands of Scotland at the moment it's a bit misty yeah that is my little cabin tour oh and the mirrors across the bed they're nice I like them uh, yeah uh, put anything in the comments if you want to know any questions um, yeah uh, a nice cabin I like it Oh, I haven't showed you the bathroom. Let's go to the bathroom. So, bathroom. I've already told you about the lights. So that's a special floor light there. And this is the light for the bathroom. So if I turn the main lights off. Ooh. So this is the bright light in the bathroom. And then this is the not so bright light. So this is the nighttime light. This is the woo woo wake up daytime light. Yeah, the bathroom's nice. Well, you can see me. Um, so there's a mirror there. I think that's the extra bright lights when the mirror lights go on. Glasses there. Um, storage down there. The panel under the sink isn't storage. More storage over there. Bin, tissues, usual P and O. Um, white company flowers smell nice more storage there <laughs> and there towels toilet <laughs> and then shower the shower is really nice it's quite um powerful nice there's a clothes rack there um usual white company smellies more storage down there 
the other side of the clothes hanger um, plug hole <laughs> and then a door I know many of you like your doors instead of curtains I don't really care as long as the shower's big and nice and powerful the only thing I'd say about this bathroom is the water pressure it's a bit pathetic yeah other than that it's yeah it's fine it's good um nice clean wood panelled floor yeah a nice bathroom and a nice cabin